In our practice, we ask two simple questions to help us diagnose the excessive nighttime clenching activity, this nocturnal parafunction. We ask the patients on a scale of 0 to 10, where 10 being the worst imaginable pain above the shoulder level, and zero being no pain at all. In other words, you feel really good, fabulous. How many mornings do you wake up with a zero? Um, stressing this waking up feeling great is an important way for patients to understand what we're trying to get at. Oftentimes, patients will think that if they don't wake up with a severe headache, that they don't count that as a headache day. They may wake up with a three or a four out of 10 and tend to ignore that because they're having that type of discomfort so frequently. They'll only report the severe headaches, an eight or a nine out of 10 as being significant. But as a physician, we want to try and diagnose this nighttime overactivity, which is often reflected by waking up with a three out of 10 headache. And then we want to grade that. So on those days that you wake up with a number, what is the average number? And this will give us a baseline to start working with the patients. I generally find that most of my migraine sufferers are having headaches every day. They may not be migraine every day. They wake up with this dull, milder headache, and then on some days it progresses into the full-blown migraine attack. In working between neurologists, headache specialists, and dentists, this algorithm is an important concept. The evaluation of the treatment resides with the neurologist and headache specialist. Our job is to make sure that there are no other conditions that are causing the headache. So we need to rule out brain tumors or other potential ominous conditions that could lead to the, the headache problem and do the appropriate investigations for that. Then we need to put in place a treatment plan. Putting in place a treatment plan, though, could include dental treatments like the NTI. And this is where we need to partner with local dentists to help develop an, a, a joint approach to these patients. The evaluation, the initial diagnosis, could stem from the dental office. And this is the value of the questionnaires that I went through in the beginning, particularly that three-part questionnaire that just looked at nausea, light sensitivity, and disability. Asking those three questions, you might be able to tease out of the dental population that, you, that are visiting with you the uh, number of patients that actually are suffering with migraine. And then these patients could be referred to the neurologist for their workup and then returned to you to get their definitive treatment using an NTI splint as well as being treated by the neurologist with medications such as Imitrex for their acute attack. This is our website, um, the-headachecenter.com, and included on this site is a patient class, which you see depicted here in the middle square at the bottom. This patient class allows you to refer your patients to, to the site and obtain a very full education about migraine. What we found is that patients who have been educated tend to understand the need for preventative approaches, modifying their, their risk factors and use their medicines correctly and are much easier to manage than those that don't have a full concept of the disease that they're dealing with. So this program um, allows them to do this from their own home, logging on and uh, taking the class um, in their own time. And then there are questionnaires that they could download and bring with them to a visit to help their physician and their dentist monitor and diagnose their condition.